Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today I am just going to be bringing you a brief tutorial which will probably be pretty good for most of you out there, anyone that's really interested in playing DirectX 12 games and has experienced any stuttering in DX12 games or hitching, which I have definitely seen myself. Most recently in the game Control, um, I mentioned the other day when I was talking about performance with ray tracing that it was hitching all over the place, and really the best way to circumvent that was to play in DirectX 11 mode. However, this would then block you out of using ray tracing features or DLSS if that's something you did want to take advantage of, which I personally did, as it looks pretty damn great in that game, but the hitching was all over the place. Some other titles have experienced hitching over the last year as well that come out in DirectX 12, and now we know that the culprit is actually Windows 10 causing the issue, and not necessarily a driver problem or uh, something with the game, although maybe this could be fixed on the game side or driver side, maybe in the future, so that you don't need to apply this fix now that developers and uh, you know people like NVIDIA and AMD know what's getting in the way. But I'm going to show you how you can at least fix this problem for yourself in the game Control specifically, but this also could help you in other DirectX 12 titles as well if you're seeing any stuttering like The Division 2. Uh, I've seen mentioned online as being a game that this helped with if you had any hitching or stuttering when using DirectX 12 in that game. So this is a really quick and easy, simple fix. If you want to do this real quick, use all you got to do is be at your desktop. Go ahead and hit your Windows key or click the Start button and then type the word exploit into the box. And then you're going to want to click on Exploit Protection and that's going to go ahead and open up this screen right here. Now what you want to do is navigate to the Program Settings tab up at the top and you're going to want to add a program to customize on this and then you're going to want to choose the exact file path. It then is going to open up your file explorer. As you can see, I'm already where control is, but you would navigate to wherever your game is. Uh, obviously, it's going to be different for you based on whatever system you're using. And you would just want to add in the DirectX 12 executable file or just the game.exe if it doesn't have separate ones for whatever game you happen to be trying to fix. So for me, I would just double click on control dx12.exe and it'll then add it into this list and it'll open up a context box. Now, once you're in here, what you're gonna wanna do is navigate down to control flow guard and you're gonna wanna override your system settings and then you're gonna wanna toggle that to off and set apply. And it does say at the bottom that you do need to restart the game, uh, but you could even restart your PC just to be sure and if you're having any issues and it doesn't resolve it right away for you, I would say restart your PC and then you should be off to the races and running. But that's really all I've got for you guys today. As I said, just a quick tutorial on how to fix this, but I think it's going to be of great value to many PC gamers out there that may be experiencing stuttering and control or any other DirectX 12 title out there. So if any other games are having these issues, you would just do the exact same process again, come into exploit protection, add the program, Click your executable and then allow the or turn off the control flow guard option within the settings and apply it and you should be good to go. So let me know down in the comments below if you applied this fix and it worked for you and resolved your issues in control or any other game out there that you may have been playing. Leave it down in the comments, your feedback and everything as I look forward to that as always. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative in any way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're not already, and if you've been here for a while, consider ringing that notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of content as soon as it goes up live here on the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. It's alright.